I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Good morning to everyone. God bless you. We are happy to be here on this morning. The Lord has blessed us to see another wonderful morning. So let us lift up the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Y'all can do better than that. Let us honor him with our praise. Amen. God has been too good to us. Amen. We want to begin our devotion this morning. Brothers, can you come to the forefront? And let us honor our God and worship. Good morning, church. Good morning. It's so good to see my church family smile. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. I missed you, people. <laughs> and I want to say Happy New Year to y'all. And I love you. This morning's scripture is coming from Psalms, the 106th number of Psalms. And I'm going to be reading from verse 1 to verse 3. And it reads as following. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all his praise? Blessed are those who keep justice, and he who does righteousness at all times. I read to you from the 106 number of Psalms, verses 1 through 3. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, our God, yes, Lord. Lord, we come to you right now with bowed heads and humble hearts. Just thanking you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for what you've already done. And thank you, Lord, what you're going to continue to do. Father, we just ask right now to forgive us of our sins, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for the Second Baptist Church of India. We thank you, Lord, for the ministers. We thank you, Lord, for our pastor. Lord. We ask, Lord, that you bless him and give him whatever he needs. Bless his family. Bless from the pulpit to the door. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing here. We ask, Lord, that you have your way this morning. Father, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just thank you for allowing us to see another day. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the activity of our limbs. Father, we just thank you. We magnify you. We lift you up. We praise you, Lord. We just ask, Lord, that you have your way this morning. Move from road to road, from heart to heart. We ask, Lord, you bless the man that's going to bring the word. Anoint him as only you can. We thank you, Lord. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Our morning hymn is Yes, God is Real. Amen. It will be found in your hymn on page 538. Yes, God is Real. Amen.
Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. God is real. Come on, come on. Is he real in your life? Amen. Amen. The people of God ought to say something about the realness of God. God is real. Amen. Amen.
says, weeping may endure yes. for a while. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. I like the last part of it. <laughs>
for being here this yes. morning. It's good yes. to see some faces I haven't seen since last year. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here with us. Thank God for bringing you through yes. to oh, be here. Amen. Yes. don't last mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. please don't look like you in trouble <laughs> 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 Sometimes we can't understand yes, what you're doing in our lives. Yes, but we're grateful, Heavenly Father, that you know all things and you're able to work all things together for our good. Yes. So even when we feel like we shouldn't be doing what we're doing, 
if it's for your benefit and for the kingdom's advancement, help us to know in our heart that it's all right. God, we thank you for walking us into 2023. Thank you for keeping us this far on our way. We ask that you would bless us now as we look into your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let me also say that we're thankful to see some of the folks um, who have uh, returned to us yes. uh, from back in cold Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And they forgot that when they go places, <laughs> Folks, to bring <laughs> your Bibles today and turn to Matthew 4. Matthew chapter 4. And, and, and this morning, for the sake of our church theme this year, I want to read just verse 19 in your hearing. I knew those letters were looking mighty small. <laughs> verse 19 says, Then he, that is Jesus, said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. This is the word of God. You may be seated. Listen, for 2023, our church theme is making more disciples. Amen. Making more disciples. And, uh, and uh, uh, we just read Jesus' words. He says, follow me, that is, follow Jesus, and he will make us fishers of men. Yeah. Right. Now, <clears throat> last week, we looked at Matthew 28, 18 to 20, to learn about being a disciple. And in order to be a disciple, you need to be helping to make other disciples. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, making disciples is our mandate from Christ. Uh, he has given this mandate not to just the church in general, but he gives that mandate to each and every one of us who say we've received Christ as our Savior. All right, all right. And, and, and so we need to be in the business of helping other people be disciples. Amen. Amen. Mm. Jesus said, follow me, mm -hmm. and I will make you fishers of men. You made a point. Truly following Christ is the beginning for making disciples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me say it again, y'all. Y'all yeah. missed it. <laughs> Truly, Truly, following Christ mm -hmm. is the beginning yes. for making disciples. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. Amen. Because right. in order to make a disciple, you and must be one. Be one. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Now, now, now yeah. listen, in, in, in my philosophy class at United States International University from Dr. Um, Lee, I learned that uh, a disciple is someone who had developed a master-teacher relationship with a teacher. It is, it is, according to Dr. Lee, someone who is showing you the way All right. mm -hmm. for whatever it is they're teaching you. 
that's that's in the world. Mm -hmm. But for Christians, discipleship uh, communicates the same sort of an idea. The disciple is a believer who is learning to obediently follow and serve Jesus as their master. Discipleship emphasizes more than just accepting Jesus. Help us. It is following his instructions to us according to what the Bible has. Y'all going to be with me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. According to what the Bible has to say. For Christians, mm -hmm. discipleship communicates uh, the idea of obediently following Jesus as our master. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. The discipleship process mm -hmm. need not be an official mentoring relationship. Yeah. That is, you don't have to sign some documents and promise, and <laughs> but you need to be in the process of becoming a disciple yeah. and then making more yeah. disciples. Y'all yeah. hear me? Yeah. 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 Listen, you, you, yeah. you, you, you just don't have the responsibility of being dis a disciple. Mm. That is, trying to act like a disciple, trying to show folk that you are a believer by what you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man. Take your time. Yes, sir. See Man. what you got right there? <laughs> Stay with it. Listen, listen, it doesn't make any difference how loud you shout. That's right. 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 Oh, yeah. right. Doesn't make any difference how high you jump up. All right. All right. What makes a difference is if you jump up, how straight you walk when you come down. Right. 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 You have to be in the business of following Jesus. Right. And, and, and make it plain. All right. <laughs> and and discipling ain't easy. <laughs> Somebody got that from me back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Being in relationship with Christ mm -hmm. is enough oh, yeah. to make you grow into a disciple. Amen. Disciples do life together. Yeah. Uh, it's enough to walk the Christian life together. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus continuously emphasized love one another. Right, yeah. right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sometimes it really means to tolerate one another. <laughs> That's right. good. Right. That's good. Come on, all right. All right, all right. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I know you don't know it, but I, I'll tell you this. Sometimes folks get on your nerves. That's right. Uh, That's right. They do. Okay, I'm okay, yes. sorry. I'm not going to put that on you. Sometimes <laughs> folks get on my nerves. I know you're right. <laughs> and I'm just as human as everybody else. Right. All right. Yes. But you need a relationship with Christ That's right. to help you moderate your feelings. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Last week we said that Jesus' last words to us was, and lo, I will be with you yes. Right. Yes. always. Yes. So even when folks get on your nerves, mm -hmm. when you can't understand Help why they doing what they doing, Help Jesus said he would be with you. Amen. Now, 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 it's important that you understand he is with you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. But he may be allowing yes, you yes, sir. to go through something All right. yes, sir. so that you can become what he wants you to become. Right. 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 Man. As, 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 as a child, as, 
living in my parents' home. Sometimes they wanted me to do stuff. And I didn't want to do it. But in the long run, if I had followed their advice, I would not have gotten into as much trouble as I did. So you, you, you sometimes can't see it. That's right. That's right. Far enough down the road. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Come on. To accept the instructions you're yeah. giving about living. Amen. Yeah. Listen. Uh, as believers, mm -hmm. we need to do life together. The Christian walk together and the leadership of Christ makes us brothers and sisters in the Lord. Amen. And if we struggle together, we can succeed together. Yeah, yeah. And when you're with your brothers and sisters, you learn to fight Help the good us, fight. All right, Help all right. Us. Listen, Dr. Howard Hendricks, professor at Dallas Theological Seminary, who went home to be with the Lord in 2013, mm. said that every believer should foster three relationships in their life. Mm -hmm. yes. He said that every believer needs a Paul mm -hmm. in their life, an older and wiser believer from whom they can learn. Amen, amen. And I would add, an older and wiser believer who has made their share of mistakes Talk certain, man. and has had time yeah. to see how those mistakes yeah. worked out in their life. And then he secondly, he said, you need to have a Barnabas, yeah. mm -hmm. a friend who encourages you and holds you accountable. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And you, you, just, you just can't have friends that just let you do anything right, 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 right. 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 right they have to hold you accountable right. for right. your actions right and then he said you had to have a timothy right yeah. a younger yeah. believer in whom you can invest your experiences yeah. as a believer amen. Amen. amen so those 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 three um, yeah. and, and, and the reason you need those three is because Solomon said, iron sharpens iron. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. mm -hmm. Or Amen. one man sharpens another man, or one woman sharpens another woman. Yeah. It is the idea of us yeah. living and working together to yeah. make one another better. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you need to have a Paul, a Barnabas, and a Timothy, this short li <laughs> list uh, begs several questions. Mm -hmm. If you are a Paul, that is, an older man or a woman, in the faith, do you have a Timothy mm -hmm. or a Timothea? <laughs> who you can pour into to help them grow and mature as a believer. If you're like Paul or like Timothy, do you have a Barnabas to encourage you and keep you on track? If you are a young believer, you have, have you prayerfully sought out an older, more mature saint to be your Paul. Amen. Really good. Amen. good. Yeah. You, you need somebody to help you in yeah. this walk. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. The Jesus way to make disciples and by implication is to first be a disciple yeah. who will go on to make more disciples. Right. Yeah. Listen, the only reason that you're sitting in this room right now is because somebody told somebody, and they told somebody, and they told somebody. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. right. That's good. 
Right. And somebody told you Amen. Amen. that you need to be following Christ. Yeah. Yeah. We make disciples by teaching people mm -hmm. to love God right. and their neighbor, right. not just intellectually, mm -hmm. yeah. but yeah. Yeah. deep within their yeah. heart yeah. and soul. Yeah. 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 It's easy to say, oh, yes, yeah. oh, I love yeah. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Help us. Yeah. But your actions... May not report yes, right. Right. Mm -hmm. what your lips are saying. Right. Uh, That's true. And, and, and the only way to change that is to make sure you have a right mm -hmm. walk with yeah. Christ. Yeah. 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 And, and that you're 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 allowing him mm -hmm. to lead you and grow you into the Christian that he wants you to be. Yeah. 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 And only by being what Christ has called you to be can you make other people right. Come on. become Christ-like in their behavior. Amen. 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 Uh, we make disciples by teaching people to love God and their neighbor. Uh, the primary purpose of gaining biblical knowledge must be a renovation of our heart. Mm. Transformation. Amen. Sure. Listen, listen. Can I can I be real with you? Yeah. Yeah. Here's this is being real with you. You ain't all that. Uh -uh. Right. Right. Man. Thank you, sir. Right. That's right. right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. No, 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 come on, come on, man. Come on, come on. Come on. No, right. Right. We all right. have a tendency. Yeah. Right. You yeah. think uh, I'm, 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 yeah. doing, I'm doing better than the mother folks. No, no, no. But, but no matter how good you may be doing, right. if you're not following Christ All right. and doing what he's called yeah. you to do, yeah. to live a Christian life yeah. and help other people become Christians, yeah. wow. yeah. come on, you ain't right now. This is the primary purpose for the Lord allowing you to live as long as you have lived. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He could have called you home yesterday. Yes, right. Yes. But the fact that he didn't is because he loves you enough to give you another chance to stop acting a fool yeah. Yeah. come on come on and to follow him that's right come on stay on it stay on it Discipleship is the state of being a disciple. And a disciple is a, is a disciple maker. They are a disciple of Jesus who enters into relationship with people to help them trust and follow Jesus. Don't, 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 listen. Discipleship is the state of being a disciple. And a disciple it, 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 it is a disciple that helps people become disciples of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You're not getting somebody trying to help somebody follow you. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. And right. be right. like you. Right. Right. You help people become like right. Jesus. All right. All right. Yeah. Because as long as you're on this side right. of the Chile Jordan right. <laughs> and you haven't crossed over to the other side, uh -uh. you are always in process. There's no time on this while you're living. Right. All right. I didn't tell you about crossing the Chile Jordan, y'all. <laughs> y'all, you're too young to know what that means. <laughs> 
But as long as you're living, right. you're always in the process of becoming. Yes, right. 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 Come on, yes. you, you, you are becoming more like Christ. Right, right. You don't get to be like him yeah. until you get home to see him right. face to face. Right. Yeah. So long as you're living and breathing, right. you're right. in the process yeah. of becoming. Amen. Amen. That's good. And, 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 and part of becoming That's good. is to help other people yeah. become. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. We have the responsibility mm -hmm. right. as believers to help other believers oh, do better. Right. right. Amen. Help us, Lord. Not gonna say take a minute that time. That is, that is, that is uh, the person who you work with. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The people who you live with. Right. Your family members, your co-workers, yeah. the people around you. And the best way you can do that is to be what you're supposed to be Amen. as a follower of Jesus Christ. Okay. Amen. And then you do the best you can right. to help them um, be what they should be. Amen. Uh, you, 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 you help them to enter into a relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And you help them trust and follow Jesus. Amen. So in our text, in our text today, Jesus said, follow me, right. and I will make you fishers of men. And, and so, and so uh, three points today about how to make disciples. Uh, 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 my, my subject matter is making more disciples because that's our theme for this year All right. and so uh, the first step is being a disciple so these three things number one know and follow Christ <laughs> Phil? Mm. Yeah. you can't make more disciples if you don't know and are not following Christ. Amen. And then number two, you need to be transformed Come on. by Christ. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> you, 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 you can't be living like you lived 20 years ago, 10, 15, 12 minutes ago. That's right, <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> All right. And claim to be following right. Christ. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And then number three, you have to be committed Help us, Lord. To the mission Help us. of Christ. Mm. Amen. Uh, those two, three, those three things, and I'm through. <laughs> Number one, know and follow Christ. Look, look at our text. Uh, verse 18 says, and Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, mm -hmm. Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting their nets into the sea, for they were fishermen. Mm -hmm. Then he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And then here it is, verse 20, and they immediately left their nets and followed him. Right. But listen, that it doesn't stop there. Verse 21 says, going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. He called them and immediately they left their net, their boat, and their father, father, and followed him. Uh -huh. now, now, when you read this passage, the impression may be that you just simply, that Jesus simply walked up on these strangers 
and called them to follow him. Uh, but that's not the case. These men accepted the invitation to follow Jesus personally. And they, they began to follow him. Let me let me see if I can show you what it says in the Bible. Okay. John chapter 1, verse 35. Mm -hmm. It says, again the next day, John stood with two of his disciples. And looking at Jesus as he walked ahead, he said... Behold the Lamb of God. Yeah. Then the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned, seeing them following, saying, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say, when translated, teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. And they came and saw where he was staying and remained oh, with God. him that day. And now it was the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John uh, speak and followed him was Andrew, uh -huh. Simon Peter's brother. Yeah. He first found his own brother. You talking? And said to him, we have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. And he brought his brother, and he brought him to Jesus. Now, when Jesus looked at him, he said, You are Simon, son of Jonah, and you shall be called Cephas, which is translated a stone. A stone. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen, I, I, I'm trying to tell you that we have to know and follow Jesus. John tells us, uh, he saw Andrew uh, had been one of the disciples of John the Baptist who witnessed Take your time. who Christ was and as a result they chose to learn more about him that is more about yeah. Christ yeah. Yeah. John evidently told his brother James about Jesus You're making a point. and Andrew told Peter yeah. This is an interesting story of how men, these men, went from knowing about Christ yeah. as someone who had they, they, whom they had not been acquainted with to knowing him in a personal relationship. Right. 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 Yeah. In your life, there's some people that you know right. about. Right. Right. And there's some people that you know. And if somebody said something about somebody that you know, uh -huh. you say, oh, no, he ain't done that. Right. 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 Not him. No. No. no, she ain't done that. No. Not her. No. You, you might be able to convince me that somebody else <laughs> might have done what you accusing her or him of. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> but I know him. Right. Uh, right. I know her. Yeah. They would not have done that. Right. Right. At first, before you have a personal relationship with, I'm talking about a personal yeah, relationship with, it's me and you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. When, when you really show enough, yes. have a right oh. walk with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You ain't got to convince uh -huh. other people. That's right. Hmm. All right. By telling them, hollering, jumping. <laughs> right. oh, it's right. the way you walk right. Right. that reports yeah. who yeah. you are. Yeah. 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 So these men, at first they knew of Jesus, but there was no per personal relationship with him. But they chose to move beyond the acquaintance level of a relationship oh, yeah. to the personal level of a relationship oh, yeah. and encourage also their brothers to know Christ oh, yeah. on a personal level. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. And, and, and that, that, that's what we have to do. Thank you. Thank you. 
as followers mm -hmm. who know Christ for ourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to encourage others That's to right. know Christ right. mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. right. Now, let, let me let me throw this in. Now I'm gonna throw this in for free. You don't have to pay for this. <laughs> there are some people who are much harder to show for you to show them who Christ is. That's right. 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 Because there are some people who are what we call hard hearted. Right. Mm -hmm. right. It's hard to get the message over to them. Right. 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 And, and, and so, so that's when we as believers yeah. must call in reinforcements. That's right. Right. Mm. That's why every disciple should have a list of people that they're praying for. Amen. Amen. Look, there's some folks, no matter how well they know you, the enemy has already hardened their hearts. And they ain't hearing you. That's right. They look at you like, I see your lips moving, but I ain't hearing a word you saying. Those are hard-hearted people. They come in all varieties, shapes and sizes. From the youngest of us. Right. She said, yeah, I did. <laughs> and and, and he, 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 here's the thing. You just can't follow Jesus by saying you follow him. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. In order to follow him, you must truly know him. Right. A disciple knows and follows Christ. If you have accepted the invitation to know Christ, you are now called on to obey the command to follow Christ. Right. And one of the indicators that you really know him is your desire mm -hmm. and willingness mm -hmm. to follow him. Right. You, you, you first have to become right. a disciple of Christ. And, and, and the evidence of your desire to be a disciple and to follow Christ is my second point. Yeah, right. You need to be transformed by Christ. Yeah. Yeah, so, 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 let me ask you to look at progression of these things. And the lesson for us today, we are all invited to know Jesus personally. Mm -hmm. This is a, re, uh, a, a invitation that we can accept or reject. Yes, Lord. All who know Christ personally are commanded to follow him passionately. Part of the reason why Peter, Andrew, James, and John were willing to obey the command to follow Jesus passionately was because they already knew him personally. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, to be transformed, you have to have a personal That's good. relationship Amen. with Christ. That's right. You can't depend on your mama and daddy's relationship. Right. 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 You, you, you can't depend on your pastor's relationship. Right. Right. You have to have a personal yes. relationship with Christ for yourself. Amen. Yes. Amen. And listen, sometimes in that process, it's going to hurt a little bit. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Right. Because some of the stuff that you thought was true, yeah. you're going to discover yeah, was not true. Amen. 
The problem is, sometimes, the popular, popular misconception of the Christian life is that it's all about God making us comfortable and sparing <laughs> us from difficulty. But to the contrary, the Christians, Christians have every bit as much difficulty in life as anyone else. And sometimes, because we're trying to be a Christian, we become a high-profile target for the devil. And the devil will do everything he can to stop you from being a Christian. He'll use everybody around you. Oh, yeah. Everything. Yeah. And, and, and everything. Oh, yeah. To try and stop you right, yes, from following Jesus right. Christ. Right. Yes, yes. But yes. as we follow Christ yes, and allow him to control our decisions yes. and responses to life's difficulties yes. and realities, there is shaped within us the character of Christ. Yeah. Mm. Rick Warren said, God is more interested in your character than your comfort. Right. Mm. He ain't trying to make you comfortable. He's trying to make you a disciple. Right. Right. One not, cannot follow Christ and remain the same. Right. If we follow Christ, we will become more like him. Amen. Uh-oh. What? Amen. Was, yes, sir. was that a measuring stick? <laughs> I just dropped on you. <laughs> if you're not becoming more like Christ, right. <laughs> you may not be following All right. Christ. The joy of heaven will be because we'll be like Jesus. Right. Now, as I mentioned the last time, we were saved not just so we might go from earth to heaven one day, but so that we might bring heaven to earth. And we do this by knowing and following Christ and letting him transform us more and more into his likeness. Right. Listen, listen, listen. When, when, when we're following him, he's helping us no matter how it looks or feels at the time. Y'all, 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 y'all here still? Right. Yeah, yeah, stay with it. Right. Stay with it. No matter how tough it seems, no matter how difficult it seems, he's making us become more and more like him. He transforms us into his likeness. Now, now, for uh, the athletes in the house, <laughs> Uh, or maybe we'll just. For the athletes in the house, you know <laughs> that you had to work hard right, right. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. to right. become better right. oh, yeah. than when you started. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it, uh, and, and, and sometimes uh. Uh, for the cooks yeah. in the house. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh -huh. You have to work harder and harder <laughs> to become a better cook. Now, it all starts with a desire. <laughs> if you don't care nothing about cooking, <laughs> you ain't gonna get better. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't care nothing about being an athlete, you're not going to do anything to make you better. Right, right. 
So for Christians, the better we know and follow Christ, the more joyful and fulfilled we'll be, and the better we know and follow Christ, the more effective and intellectual and influential our lives will be because we will be transformed more and more like Christ. Amen. But we've got to be willing to pay the price of letting him transform us, transform our lives, which is to be willing to deny ourselves Take up our cross daily. That's good. And follow him. Listen, listen. The only way you can be transformed is to allow him control over your life. Amen. And you the evidence of you allowing his control over your life is doing what it says in the book. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's rich. And so you have to know the book in order to get transformed Amen. into the likeness of Christ. Yeah, yeah. And um, I, I, I can see this. This one, this one of the sermons that ain't hitting. <laughs> Preach on that. It ain't hitting right. Preach on. All right. Maybe if I jumped up and turned around and shouted. That would do it. It only takes the word. But listen, listen. For tr our transformation, we've got to be willing to pay the price of letting him transform our lives, which is to be willing to deny ourselves, take up our cross Amen. daily. Yeah, right. yeah. Listen, listen, you, 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 you know when there's a war? There's two sides. Mm -hmm. and, and, and in this life, there's a war on two sides. That's right, right. And 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 either you are following Christ or you ain't following Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you reap. What you sow. Right, right. Uh, if, you, if you ain't following Christ, then you get everything that folks that don't follow Christ receive. And if you're not following Christ right now, I would tell you that you need to invest in some real big air conditioners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wish you could take it with you. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You, 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 you have to know that uh, to get something good, there's a price you have to pay. That's right. That's right. And 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 for your transformation into a follower of Jesus Christ, there's a price. Right. Yeah. Right. You have to pay. Right. And part of the price is getting over yourself. Right. Yeah. That's right. Sometimes we can think we so good. That's right. Amen. Tell it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. That everybody else <laughs> ought to be like us. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But 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 our mission is to be like Christ. Right, right. Right. That's right. And in order to be like Christ, yeah. you have to be, this is my third point, and I'm going to let you go. I hate to bother you like this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be committed That's right. 
to the mission of Christ. Right. Listen, listen, it's going it's to be, it's going to be um, that way all the time. Yeah. You, 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 you first need to know and follow Christ. Yeah. Then you need to be transformed yeah. by Christ. Amen. Then you need to be committed right. to the mission of Christ. Yeah. And so, so uh, the question could be asked, what is the mission which Christ calls us to? Yes, Lord. And the answer is to be a disciple yes. who makes disciples. disciples. Right. Yeah. He, he, he wants us to be a fully <laughs> informed believer and follower yeah. of Jesus Christ. Oh, so that we can help others right. become followers of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Jesus says to us, if anyone desires to come after me, let him or her deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me oh, yeah. daily. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it, it, it's not something that you do once in a while. Right. Yeah. Right. You just can't do it once. Mm -hmm. You can't hit it and quit it. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to follow him daily. Okay. The cross laid on every is laid on every Christian. The first Christ suffering, which every man must experience, yeah. is the call to abandon his attachments to the world. Yeah. Help as long as all you hanging on to stuff Help us, in the Lord. world, Help us, Lord. you're preventing yourself from being transformed mm -hmm. and having the full experience yeah. of Christ. This is the dying of the old man, which is yeah. in us. And it's the, it, that is the result of an encounter with Christ. Yeah. The old man dies, and the new man becomes alive. Yeah. And that is being transformed into a new creation. Right. So when you, when, you, when you accept Christ, and you allow him to start the transformation process in your life, you then are becoming a new creation. Yeah. Yeah. And as we embark upon our discipleship, we, dis we dis surrender ourselves to Christ. And in union with his death, we give our lives to the death of the old self. All right. Amen. That's the way I was. Mm -hmm. back then yeah. mm -hmm. but when I gave myself over to him mm -hmm. he made me mm -hmm. yeah. a new creation yeah. 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 changed the way I walked yeah. mm -hmm. changed the way yeah. I talked yeah. Yeah. changed what I do yeah. Yeah. from what I used to do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> the cross is not the terrible end to an otherwise God-fearing and happy life. But it's it, is, it meets us at the beginning of our transformation and communion with Christ. Amen. Amen. Let me see. When, when we when we Surrender to Christ. Mm -hmm. He gives us a new life. Thank you, Lord. And as we transform into the person he wants us to be, we have communion mm -hmm. with him. Yeah. We have a personal relationship Amen. with him. And, and the good news he knows all things. Yeah. And he is all powerful. Yeah, yeah. So no matter if we have a relationship with him, no matter what things 
are happening around us. He's still in charge. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We're trying to help people come to know him and receive all the benefits from being his child. But the enemy can work on them and drag them into situations they never thought they would have been. I, I, I wish I wish we I wish we could go out with Larry Baker and yes. Rob White and yes. like the brothers that go out on the streets yes. Yes. talking to folks yes. and trying to get them saved. That's right. You talk to some of them folks, they'll tell you they never would have thought. That they would end up in the situation they're in. Amen. Oh, yeah. And no matter what that situation is, these brothers are telling them. Yeah, that's right. Christ that's right. is able yeah. to do exceedingly, yeah. abundantly. Above all yes. you might ask yes. or That's right. think. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. That's discipleship. Yes. Help us to God. Help us. That, that, that's street evangelism. Right. Now listen, right. everybody ain't called to do that. Amen. Right. 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 It's hard out there for yes. a preacher. Oh, <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you go. Listen, listen. We 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 have this responsibility. Help us, Lord. First, to know and follow Christ. Yeah. Each and every one of us. Right. That's our personal responsibility. Oh, yeah. I don't care how young you are. Right. I don't care how old you are. Right. You want to receive Christ as your Savior so that he can change your life. Yeah. Amen. And when he changes your life, yes. he changes you. Right. Amen. The first thing, he, 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 he's not going make to make you go from uh, a, 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 a poor person on the street <laughs> to a rich person. That's right. Wherever they are, I don't know. <laughs> I ain't been there. <laughs> he wants to change you right. internally in your heart. Yeah, that's right. Right. All the other stuff don't make no difference. Right. 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 That's why we we have prayer lists. For those people who are fighting against the change of becoming a disciple. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I said, I said, it, 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 everybody ain't called to go out and preach the gospel on the street or invite people into the fellowship. Right. Right. But everybody has some gift That's yeah. right. that they can use to help the kingdom of God grow. Amen. 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 Yes. And I, I, you know, you heard me say this before. Mm. The first thing that anybody needs mm. is some want to. Right, right. Help us, Lord. You have to want to become a Christian. You have to want to be like Christ. You have to want to change your life. When Christ calls us, he calls us 
and bids us to come and die. Yeah. It may be a death like that of the first disciples mm. who had to leave their home and their work to follow Jesus. Mm. For us, wow. all it will certainly be a, a call to die to our worldly ways mm -hmm. and ourselves and to be transformed into a disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. It starts with okay. knowing Christ. Yes, yes. You, 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 you have to first know him yes, and then when you know him, you must right. follow him. Beginning relationship with Jesus Christ, the Bible says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And, and, and listen, 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 listen. It's simple as ABC. A, the first thing you have to do is admit you are a That's sinner. Right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone has a problem that the Bible calls sin, yeah. which amounts to a refusal to acknowledge God's authority over our lives. Right. Yeah. The Bible is clear. As it is written, there's none righteous. No, not one, as Romans 3.10. And it says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yeah. Romans 3.23. Uh -huh. The result of sin yeah, is yeah. spiritual death and separation right. from God. Amen. Yeah. So if you have not taken the time to personally receive him as your savior, yeah. you're still separated yeah. from God. Yeah. Amen. That's right. And listen, the one thing the enemy wants to do is to keep you separated from God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So he'll make you think <laughs> you know that. <laughs> that everybody who's trying to get you mm -hmm. to become a Christian yeah. is crazy. When all the time the one that's crazy <laughs> is the one who's not believing. Uh -huh. So A, admit you're a sinner. Right. Then B, believe that Jesus died to pay the penalty for your sin. Amen. Although we've done nothing to deserve his love and salvation, God wants to save us. Yeah, yeah. He sent his only begotten son yeah. to die for us. That's good news. And everyone who repents and places their faith in Christ oh, will yeah. be Amen. saved. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and that's just the first part yeah. of the trip. <laughs> All right. Because you continue to grow in him and he continues to watch over you and he continues to keep you. The entire way. Amen. Amen. And so, admit that you're a sinner. Believe that Jesus died for you. And then number three, confess That's Jesus right. as Lord and Savior of your life. All right. Amen. Admit your sins. Yes. Ask Jesus to deliver you from the consequences of your sins. And uh, you must yield. In order to do that, you must yield your life to him. And you shall be saved right. according to Romans 10 and 9. Amen. That's the book. Amen. And so listen, listen, we, we, we encourage everyone to take the steps to becoming a disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. We want you to accept him as Savior. And if you're here today and you made a decision for Christ, you can come forward now. And we'll take some information from you. 
and will give you further information. Every blood-bought child of God is praying now. There's somebody in the midst of a battle. They're trying to hear the word of God. But the enemy is preventing them. So if you're already saved, you need to be praying right now for the one who's trying to make a decision. This is, this is the invitation time. This is the time of warfare. The enemy is working overtime. He's trying to block their hearing. He's trying to blind their eyes. And you as a believer can stand in the gap. Praying that they would hear. So if you're here today, you can come forward. We'll take your information and give you instructions on uniting with Christ and the church. If you're with us virtually, you may contact us by the information on the screen. And we'll assist you in taking your next steps.
giving us the privilege of being called disciples of Jesus Christ. Help us carry out our assignment to make more disciples. We know the world needs to be touched by disciples of Jesus Christ. We ask that you would bless us and guide us according to your perfect will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you for listening. Amen. Listen, is there, are there anything is there anything that claims our attention? Yes, ma'am. Pastor, thank for the Wilson family. We lost to Andy Shepherd this morning. Amen. Pastor, this morning. Pray for a sister. Uh, Wilson. That's her sister. Yes. And so we want to pray for Sister Sue and her family, the Shepherd family. Listen, um, people yes, sir. are passing on, and the only thing that we can do That's right. to be a blessing to them is to make sure they know the Lord yes. before they leave this side. afternoon to head to San Diego to do a ongoing service for a young man. He's 71, so I can say young man. Uh, who I've known all of my adult life. Uh, well, actually from high school. And so we want to make sure that we're telling our friends and family about Jesus. Amen, amen. That's good. Amen. That's good. Amen. Amen. Bless you. So, uh, pray for us as we share a word on tomorrow. Amen. amen. And listen, homegoing services is all right to say what that person did and what that person did and how they blessed you and all that. But really, uh, what I say at a homegoing service, it ain't the one, it ain't for the one That's right. who That's right. laid out before us. That's right. They already lived there. Right, That's right. right. There ain't nothing we can do about it. Right. So the homegoing service, I'm getting ready for tomorrow, y'all. It's for us who That's are right. still here. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let the church say. Let the church say. Saying together. Oh.